If you want to buy cheap and reliable Ultimate Team FIFA coins, then go to fifacoinszone.com. What's up guys, I'm Tomer MC7 and welcome to a brand new Shark Carrier Mode episode. Today's like challenge is get this video to 100 likes if you want to see daily episodes of this series. We are playing Valencia in the Champions League next, at home and in the Valtins Arena. And this will be my team and my strongest possible lineup at the moment. Let's try and smash Valencia and really take control of our group. I'm so excited to be back recording Liverpool and Schalke career mode videos and uh, there are lots of awesome stuff coming up on my channel. Let's go! This is going to be such an exciting but such a difficult game. Valencia, a really, really famous club from Spain, visit uh, the Valtins Arena. As you can see, if we win here, we can open up a four-point gap between ourselves and Valencia. I think uh, Valencia are our biggest threat to finishing top of this group. Let's see how it goes. The fans are really up for it. And uh, the Valencia players coming out. They have some really quality players like Gardado, Jonathan, Faguli. Let's see how it goes. Go Muriel. Go Muriel. Must score! Oh, what a save! How oh, did he save that? Go on, go on, Martinez! Please, Martinez! Oh, damn it! Go, Martinez! Come on! Ah, oh, I should have chipped it harder, I mean, with uh, more power. Fucking hell! Holy shit, Valencia. That was their first real chance of the second half. Let's make three subs. Konko, Holdby and Eswine coming on. Let's try to win the game. Oh, what a block! Amazing block, but the danger is not over yet. The danger is not over yet. They're taken. Oh my goodness. So the game finishes nil-nil and it's a very disappointing result. We should have beaten Valencia. We had so many chances. We really should have scored. Martinez had a one-on-one. -on -one. I made the wrong decision to try and chip the goalie. I should have maybe waited a little bit f more or maybe just had to have a power shot. Look at that. Seven shots, five on target. Valencia only had two shots on target. But they could have won the game in the end, so... And St. Etienne beat Lech Poznan 5-1. So they move, I think, to uh, first place in the group. Let's see the Champions League group now, before we move on to our um, next Bundesliga game. So here are the groups at the moment. I really want to finish first. And we are still in first place. Valencia and St. Etienne are on four points each. And uh, Lech Poznan only on three points, so we can still win the group. It's in our hands, we just need to win uh, maybe two of the remaining three games. And uh, this is why I want to finish top, because the big teams are really, really pushing hard in their groups. And this is how the Bundesliga table looks like. We are second uh, level on points with Wolfsburg and we go to Hertha Berlin, who are on, in, on 12th place. And uh, I feel uh, the team really did well, uh, we only failed to finish our chances, so I will stick with the same team going into this Hertha game. And uh, we are playing at the brilliant Olympia Stadium, one of my favorite stadiums on FIFA. Usually the cup finals are played there, sometimes the Champions League, I mean on FIFA, so let's go! 
Look at this brilliant stadium of Hertha Berlin against Schalke. This is feels like a cup final because if we win here, we will be bang on in the title race. We won 8 of the 12 games and since we switched formation, we have pretty much won all our games uh, besides the, apart from the Champions League game against Valencia, but of course Valencia are a very, very strong team. And we, we had the most chances in that game. Let's try to continue our winning run in the league. We pretty much have to win almost all of our remaining games to stand the chance uh, of lifting the Bundesliga trophy, the title, because Bayern, uh, sorry, Borussia Dortmund are six points ahead of us still. Draxler! Oh my god, how did he save that? That's an amazing save. How on earth does the goalkeeper save that? Boateng! Oh, nice short free kick. Holy shit, nice, nice they saved our Stegen. That was nice build up by Hertha. Muriel! Oh, great block by the Hertha defense. God damn it. Martinez, please! Oh my word, how did you miss? Martinez! Oh! How did he score? Oh my god, from that angle! How the fuck did he score? Captain! And he poses for the photographers! Captain, what a celebration! How on earth did Martinez go score from there? That's world-class finishing, Jackson Martinez. He is uh, proving to be an absolutely class striker up front. Brilliant finish. Finally, just before halftime, we break the deadlock. Got in, guys. No. Holy shit, that was a big chance. Let's make three subs. Huger, Eswine and Holtby coming on. All the three midfielders were really tired, so I decided to sub them off. Let's uh, try and maintain this 1-0 lead, maybe score another goal and seal the game. No! What have you done? What a mistake! Oh, we got really lucky that Hertha didn't capitalize on that awful mistake. Martinez! Oh, Martinez! What a header! No. Oh, they hit the post and Ter Stegen gets lucky. Muriel! Yes! Oh, what a gift! What an absolute gift! Cut him! What a gift by Hertha! And Luis Muriel keeps on scoring, keeps on banging in the goals in the Bundesliga. That's an absolute gift from the opposition and Luis Muriel, what a signing he has been, especially this season. Last season he was really struggling for goals. This season he's virtually scoring in every game in the Bundesliga. Fantastic! Yes! Got in! We are bang in the title race. What a win! Great, great goals as well. And the two strikers, Martinez and Muriel. Firing us to glory. They are really, really living up to the expectations of the fans. We paid a lot of money for them. And it was time that they would deliver the results. So here is how the league table looks like. Wolfsburg dropped points, which is an absolutely brilliant result for us. So we are still six points behind Dortmund. But we are six points ahead of Bayern Munich as well. This is why it was so important to keep winning and we have been banging in the goals left right and center which is absolutely brilliant to see uh, so let's see the top scorers chart muriel is the top scorer in the league and also farfan is up there with five goals boateng with four and the jackson martinez with four so we actually have four players in the top like uh, in the top 21 goal scorers in the league which is absolutely fantastic to see 
Um, and oh yeah, I forgot to show you the latest results in the league. If you want to see daily uploads in this career mode, make sure to like this video. Yeah, Wolfsburg couldn't beat München Gladbach. It was a 2-2 two -two draw. Dortmund won 4 nil. Bayern won 3 nil, which is not really a surprise. And in the next episode, uh, we have some winnable games. We have Freiburg in the German Cup. And then we have Mainz at home. Then St. Etienne in the Champions League. Then Hoffenheim away. And then uh, Bayern Munich and Valencia. So there are some epic games coming up. Like the video if you want to see daily uploads in this series. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye. Wow, I'm really nervous. We are not on our best form. We just lost the previous game in the 88th minute. I'm still gutted about that and angry, but let's turn out that our attention into Europe. Benfica and Anderlecht are already through to the next round of the Champions League.